As a result of growing markets and increasing trade in our global economy, the need for transport is growing. The problems that follow from this are obvious. Shortage of capacity, accidents and increasing emissions are just some of them. In order to create a competitive and resource-efficient transportation system and fulfill the environmental goals of the EU for the year 2050, we have to reduce greenhouse emissions from the transport sector by 70%. Meanwhile, freight transport inside the EU is expected to grow by 80% during this period. One way of reaching the emissions goal is to move more than half the road-based traffic to other means of transport. Where can this extra capacity be catered for? The answer is at sea. An increasing volume of traffic will also increase the risks for human beings, the environment and the economy. With increasing traffic, the need for better information systems also grows, along with tools for improved safety at sea and environmental protection. The Mona Lisa project have been focusing on those issues during the three-year-long project and can now proudly present technical solutions and operating processes that will help us solve these issues. The Mona Lisa activities have now resulted in robust hardware and software that in real time can exchange optimized routes from shore to ship and vice versa and also monitor who and with what competence the ships are managed from the bridges. We call it sea traffic management. Sea traffic management is analogous to air traffic management, which is essential for air traffic as we know it. Today, route planning is either done individually on board with manually collected data from sources that are more or less updated or more precisely and accurately with routes planned with the assistance of various routing services. Normally, the bridge team is the only group to have an overall view of the route of an individual ship. Other vessels in the vicinity do not know the ship's intentions or decided route plans. With the introduction of the new Mona Lisa service, the Sea Traffic Coordination Center, we will now be able to put the captain in the center of the process where he can get different kinds of services according to his needs and demands. The coordination center can now provide or update captains with optimized routes and also assist with monitoring and navigational assistance depending on the needs from either ship or shore side. The newly received hydrographical data will be used not only to plan the best routes but also to minimize squat effects thus reducing fuel consumption and emissions. Voyage planning is done and updated dynamically with real-time data from necessary sources such as hydrographic surveys, maritime safety information with actual no-go areas, weather and ice conditions, port conditions and availability of pilots, MSP Maritime Spatial Planning. The Mona Lisa project results can now provide captains with a unique and fully optimized voyage plan based on data streamed in from the different databases in order to arrive at the right time at the lowest cost. Sea traffic management can also be used as a dynamic separation tool to complement the static separated TSS areas of today, all in order to save significant fuel, thus reducing emissions. Exchanges of routes can, when needed, also be executed ship to ship. This function will greatly increase the officer's situational awareness. With the Mona Lisa concept of sea traffic management, the Coordination Center can offer ships different levels of supervision services during passage, any deviation from intended routes being immediately and automatically communicated. And the actual Coordination Center can take any necessary action. With all routes on a common server, we will now be able to predict congestion and conflict areas in the same way as the ATCC do today and it will also be possible to run big data analysis with sea traffic management. Ship owners can have their fleet monitored and all routes made with safety zones and requested under keel clearance. With continuously updated information of ships' movements, voyage plans and intentions, the number of unknown vessels will be reduced, thus better enabling the Coast Guard to find risk vessels. Not only can the routes be quality assured, validated and monitored, but it will be possible to check certificates for the bridge officers as well. When a new officer is taking over the con on the bridge, he checks in with his Mona Lisa ID smart card. 
This gives the relevant authority the ability to obtain information on competence, qualifications and duty status during the entire voyage. The land-based data server consists of latest valid certificates for the officer on watch. The duty status shows the hours worked during the present duty. Ensuring the personnel are thoroughly rested is an important preventive factor of safety work. The very important legal issues, UNCLOS SOLAS and STCW, have been carefully investigated during the project, and a comprehensive report has clarified the problems, prerequisites and suggestions on how to continue with sea traffic management on a global basis. For the commander, the Mona Lisa project gives a constantly updated route, best route choice, increased service, improved information and assistance from land, improved decision support in close situations, warnings about dense traffic. For the ship owner, Mona Lisa provides reduced cost, improved environmental performance, quality assured and validated route performance. For the Sea Traffic Coordination Centers, Mona Lisa provides survey and coordination with real-time data, early warnings about dense traffic areas, basic data for advice, information on competence, qualifications and duty status. It is time to move the maritime world into the digital age of the 21st century by utilizing the potential of information technology in order to improve the general view, coordination, efficiency, safety and environmental friendliness.